Hi everybody, it's Mark Guttenberg, and today I got a great tip for you. It's more of a game, and it's gonna pay tribute to a professional named Chuck Hogan. Chuck Hogan was a great friend of mine and a mentor, and he taught me a lot. And I got this from his book called Rethinking Golf. Chuck was a kind of a renegade when it came to golf instruction. He really didn't like the way golf was taught, very mechanical, kind of went against our learning instincts. He wrote several books about that. But when I was ready to play the Champions Tour, I went to see Chuck. And he gave me this game. He said, Mark, if you're going to beat the guys on the Champions Tour, you got to have the best wedge game. So he gave me this game, and it's in his book, Rethinking Golf. So if you don't get it from me, read the book. So this is how it works. You basically take 50 balls. You randomly throw them out from 5 to 90 yards away from your target green. Now, on the green, you set up a 10-foot radius, right, left, short, and long. So basically, a, a circle with a 10-foot radius. Every shot that you're going to hit, you're going to hit one with your eyes open, then you're going to hit the next one with your eyes closed. Now, the reason you're going to hit it with your eyes closed is so you learn to trust and feel your swing. You just saw it executed with your eyes open, eyes closed, you learn to trust. Now, here's the cool part. If you get it inside a 10-foot circle, you have to celebrate. Chuck used to call it the Yahoo experience. So whenever I hit it inside the, the circle, I get excited, I celebrate. Why do we do this? Well, think about it. Every time you have a negative experience in golf, say you shank a shot on the last hole, or you three putt on the last hole to lose a tournament, or you hit one out of bounds when it really mattered, there's an emotional attachment to that shot. There's a reaction that is so deep that it acts like a tattoo on your brain. So the next time you get into a situation like that, that's in there. It's so easy to call it up. Oh, I remember last time I was on the last hole and I hooked it out of bounds. Boom, that's what you're gonna do. Well, think about the good experiences, the good drama. We never do that unless you win a tournament and make a putt on the last hole, you'll remember that for the rest of your life. But every time you hit one of these chip shots and you knock it inside 10 feet, whether it's from 90 yards or five yards, you celebrate, you get excited. That way your brain will remember that. And the next time you're playing golf and you see that shot on the golf course, I start to salivate, like, that's my Yahoo shot. So I'm gonna show you what the setup looks like. I'm gonna hit a couple of shots for you. And then I hope you'll take this to heart and try this game when you get home. Okay, take a look out here. What I've done is I've put three balls 10 feet from the hole, front, back, and side. So anytime I get my ball inside that 10 foot radius, I'm gonna celebrate. Now I'll just go through a couple of shots. Watch me hit eyes open, eyes closed. My camera person, Leslie's gonna follow me around. So here's the first one. I'm gonna do this one with my eyes open. I'm trying to chip it in. Yes! Yes! Yahoo! All right, you got it. Was well, it great, but it's inside my circle. All right, now eyes closed. Yeah, baby! Yeah, yeah! You don't have to show them at five feet from the hole. Some of them go in. Anyway, you just randomly go up to a shot. Eyes open. No celebration on that one. Okay. Back here, eyes closed. A little firm, but each time I'm doing this, I'm getting a feel. Yes, yes, that's what I'm talking about. So that's what we do. We tattoo in our brain something positive. We'll remember it. This has nothing to do with mechanics. By the time I get to that 90 yard shot and I hit my 50th ball, I go count what I got. If I've got at least 30 balls inside that circle, I got a tour caliber wedge game and I'm ready for the champions tour but if you do this you'll be ready for the club championship or just to improve your short game so please try this drill and Chuck Hogan if you're out there I love you buddy know we're thinking about you and thanks for all you've done